A 9 to 5 office job isn't for these women. Instead, they work construction. And they do it for the same reasons the men do, because they find construction work more fulfilling. Being able to see the bigger picture, being a part of something bigger. So driving by the, the building, be like, I built that building to your family or to your kids in the future. That's kind of why I did it, just to be a part of something bigger. Before they start working, these women take a mandatory training course at a special center. And many of them say it teaches them not just to construct buildings, but also build a harmonious relationship with themselves. I think it's, for me personally, it's a constant battle on gaining confidence, but this job has definitely helped it. I don't think I would be as confident as I am now working in another field. Today, women make up about 10% of all construction workers in the country. All the workers need are a few tools, a helmet, special protective glasses, training and self-confidence. Kelly Kopchak has been working in construction for over two decades. For the last three years, she has been head of the Trades Women Organization, a company that has been helping women in Portland, Oregon, to master construction work for free. Kopchak also helps them find a job, something a lot of them need because it's harder for women to break into the business. I also saw some really hard things and I experienced some really hard things as, as a woman in an industry that's still dominated by men. And an industry which I think is changing, but back then it was still largely this very macho, like, why are you here? Why are you here taking my job? Why are you here taking a job from another man who has to feed his family? And I was like, I have to feed my family too. So that was a big eye-opening experience for me firsthand. Bridget Quinn trains future electricians, including those who came to the construction industry with the help of tradeswomen. She says that on top of the basics, she also needs to remind women that the issue of gender and physical strength should not stop them from doing what they really want to do. There's tiny men out there, and there's big muscular women out there. Um, there's times when having a smaller stature is going to be ben more beneficial in our industry, and there's times when being bigger is going to be more beneficial in our industry. And I think that especially as we grow as an industry, um, as far as safety concerns go and safety training and things like that, we're always learning how to do our jobs with the least possible damage, repetitive use, um, destructive use to our bodies. And so we're, we've got so many more tools nowadays that we can use to be able to do heavy physical work. Every year, more than a thousand women graduate from Trades Women Training Center, ready to build houses for others and a new life for themselves. And Kopchak is doing all she can to keep that number growing. For Karina Bafragian in Portland, Oregon, NRA's 